Hi, fellow physics students. Which ball do you think will reach the end faster? Well, if you guessed this ramp, you were right. Let's take a look at this with our favorite physics principle, conservation of energy. So, using conservation of energy, both balls at the top of the ramp will have potential energy, just like you. The potential energy of both balls is due to gravity. Assuming friction is negligible, the potential energy will be converted into kinetic energy at the bottom because it would have a final velocity. Breaking down the equations, it would look like this. As you can see, mass is on both sides of the equation. Here in physics, we are non-judgmental. We don't care about how massive you are. So we're going to cross out both on both sides. Rearranging for velocity, we find that v equals the square root of 2gh. Since both balls start at the same height and end at the same height, the, the velocity of the first ball and the velocity of the second ball will be the same at the end. Using two larger masses, we find that the result is still the same because the velocity is independent of the mass as it cancels on both sides. Even when using two balls of different masses, the marble having less mass, we find that the result is the same. The ball on the steeper ramp will reach the bottom first because mass is not taken into account for the final velocity. So, how does the second ball reach the bottom first if the final velocities are the same? First, the initial slope of ramp 2 is greater than ramp 1 and is steeper as you can see. Note that ramp 2 is consistently at a lower elevation than ramp 1. This means that the potential energy on ramp 2 is being converted to kinetic energy earlier because the height decreases in less time. The ball is able to accelerate earlier and reach its maximum velocity in less time. Consequently, the second ball is traveling faster for the whole trip and distance is the same, so the second ball will reach the bottom first, even though the final velocities are going to be the same. Keep in mind that energy is going to be conserved as long as friction is negligible.